Hello and welcome to this video on truncating numbers. Now let's just say I had the fraction two thirds and I type that into my calculator and then I press the SD key to convert that to a decimal. Now in all recent calculators it would give you 0.6666666, lots of sixes, and then it finishes with a seven. Now you might know that two thirds means 0.6 recurring, so it's zero point and then an infinite number of sixes. Now what's effectively happening is that your calculator is rounding it to this number of decimal places. So here the digit is actually six, and then you've got some more sixes going on forever. But then because it's rounding up to this digit, it checks the next digit. And because that digit is greater or equal to five, that six goes up to seven. So this is rounded. But on some older calculators, what happens is that you actually get this, 0 0.6666666. And what it's done is it's taken those remaining sixes and it's just chopped them off without making this digit one digit greater. So when we kind of do this kind of cutting off of the digits after without this rounding up, we call that truncating. So effectively, you can think of truncating as just rounding down. We don't check the digit after next time to see if that digit goes up by one. We just literally discard all the digits after and just keep what number we have left. So if we take these questions here, we want to round to two decimal place and to truncate to two decimal place. So seven point. 8643. Now if we round to two decimal places, well we keep up to the second digit after the decimal point, so it'd be 7.86. We check the digit after, is it greater to 5? No it isn't, so that 6 stays as a 6. And if we truncate to two decimal places, we keep everything up to that 6 again, but we just wipe out everything after without checking any digits after. So it's just 7.86. In this particular case, we get the same number if we round or truncate. But with the second one, we'll see that we get two different values. If we have 5.786354, if we round to two decimal places, we keep up to this digit here, the second digit after the decimal point. So it's 5.78. We check the digit after. Is it great equal to 5? Yes, it is. So that 8 goes up to 9. Now, if we truncate to two decimal places, again, we keep up to the 8, but we just wipe it out. We discard everything after without checking it, and it's just 5.78. And we'll see more about truncation when we look at bounds and error intervals. 